Hey guys, today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. It is a little different for me, but it was a lot of fun. I did use a lot of pretty much all the collaborations I've purchased in the last two years, but I found a lot of old favorites. I'm so glad I tried out a lot of them again. Just bringing back some old goodies, and they're all collaborations from other YouTubers, which is awesome. But yeah, I just did a kind of like smoky winged liner today. It didn't turn out exactly how I was planning, but that's okay. But make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like tutorials like this, and subscribe before you leave. And if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just please keep watching. Today's video is just going to be kind of like a chill get ready with me. I'm just getting ready for work on a Saturday. <laughs> and I just wanted to do a bunch of like collabs from YouTubers, do you know what I mean? So I even want to take it back to the Kathleen Lights and Morphe collaboration and the Becca and Jaclyn Hill and Daddy from Jeffree Star and Manny MUA and even the Be Hue and the Taylor. So I want to give two lip options. But I just want to try something a little bit different today, and I just, I want to use up, like, all my clubs I haven't used in a while, so I don't want to forget about them, because I, I mean, I've loved all of them so far, so we're just going to kind of do a chill, get ready with me. So I did already wash, moisturize, and prime my face. I am trying out the new Morphe Makeup Prep and Set, so I'll leave that video down below if you haven't seen that. And I also used, of course, my Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer just to kind of help with the pores and everything. So I am going to be mixing my foundation, of course. I love mixing foundations. I just feel like one foundation isn't going to specifically do everything I want. So I am going to mix the Wet n Wild Shell Ivory and then the Infallible Pro Matte in 101. These two together are like a match made in heaven for me, and I love, love, love these two. So I just mix about half and half of each foundation. And I'll just use a makeup brush and kind of like, you know, mix it all together. I am starting to get like the worst discoloration around my eyes. I don't know what it is. And it makes me so sad. And then whatever I have left on the back of my hand, I just kind of take down a little bit on my neck just so, you know, we match a little bit. And then of course I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. I just, I can't get over this stuff. I don't know what it is. It is the best coverage. Ooh, I just used way too much. <laughs> I swear I saw a sneak peek somewhere that Tarte did saying they're coming out with a foundation. Like the Tarte Shape Tape. If that's like a real deal. Holy moly. And I'm just going to set my face using the Maybelline Master Set. Or Master Fix. <laughs> So everywhere I put concealer, I like to set it with the sponge. I don't know why. Just because it's a little bit heavier. So I just want to make sure I'm just setting those areas really good. And then I'll use a brush for like the rest of my face because you don't need as much. And of course I always use my little unicorn brush from Tarte. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Hoola Benefit and my number 2 BH Cosmetics like little flat bronzing brush. I don't know why this side looks really patchy. And then of course to contour, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Dazzle Palette. And I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics number no. 1 like flat angled brush. Love this combination. I just kind of leave it like right at the base of my cheekbone and I don't really move it. <laughs> I just kind of do a really quick little, you know, zigzag motion. Now I'm going to go in with a Morphe R31, my favorite little contour brush for the nose. It just gets like right in there. So I'm just going to take my L'Oreal face powder and my Morphe E6, just a little flat top brush, and I'm just going to kind of clean everything up. Just blend it all together. What I'll also do is I will take a little um, sponge. This is a pure one. And, I mean, I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm a little nervous, but it is really dense. But I'm going to go back in with that same Maybelline powder. Maybe it works out that it's so dense because, I mean, it's really cleaning up everything nicely. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with Hot Mama from The Balm. This is just beautiful. I love this for like an everyday blush. It's like the perfect everyday like pinky peach, peachy. 
so cute. I'm just using my Morphe E4. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. I'm going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I use Ash Brown, but they take me forever to get my shape right now because I went a little heavy on the tweezing one night. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and do these off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so eyebrows are finished. I am so excited to be opening this again. I have honestly put this in this little drawer thing back here. And I have not opened it since I think, I mean months ago. And I absolutely adored this palette. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be trying something a little bit different today. I want to try just like an eyeshadow smoked out wing kind of thing. Pray for me. <laughs> So I'm of course going to start out with this little transition shade right here. It is a little bit deeper for me, but I just pick up a little bit at a time and it still works. Did I even say what this was? <laughs> it's the Kathy Lights and Morphe collaboration from forever ago. I just love this palette. It's like everything you'll need. So I'm going to go with my little Smith 230 and I'm going to go in with this like middle shade down here. It's like a good deeper... Like reddish brown. I'm just going to put this kind of in the outer corner. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to kind of drag it in. I'm just going to take my Morphe R40. I'm just going to kind of blend all of this together. This is like my favorite, favorite brush just to kind of blend anything out. It's just so soft and so fluffy. I absolutely love this thing. So I'm going to go in with the black shade down here. I'm going to take my Morphe M165. It's just a little angled brush. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit. And I'm just going to stamp it from where I want my wing. So I'm just going to give myself a base. And I'm just going to kind of go in and connect it. I'm going to take it all the way like I would for a regular wing. So all the way to my inner corner. I'm just going to take this little bitty detail brush. This is a BH Cosmetics number 13. I'm going to go back in with the black. But I'm just going to use this one to kind of give me a little bit more control. Now I'm just going to take this Crown C513, just a, <coughs> just a little pencil brush, and a little bit more. And now I'm just going to start like smoking it out. So now I kind of have like the smokiness that I want to it. I'm going to go ahead and kind of go back and just that, use that little definer brush and just kind of deepen up the black a little bit. I'm just going back and forth in between that and this MAC 219. Just smoking it out. <laughs> I don't want to really make the inner corner too dark. I like having that a little bit more bright. It just makes you look a little bit more awake. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. <laughs> so that is not exactly what I was planning on. <laughs> To be honest, but I kind of like how it turned out. I'm going to try and clean it up and lash them a little bit better, you know. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to take my MAC 230 and do the same shades pretty much. So I'm going to go into this first transition shade. Now I'm going to go back in with this like deeper reddish brown and just do the outer corner outer corner. <laughs> now I'm going to go 
back in with that same M165 that had the black on it. And I'm just going to kind of connect. Not a lot, just a little bit. On the outer corner. And I'll take that same brush and just kind of blend it out. So I'm just going to take a little flat shader brush. And I'm going to go in with this kind of grayish color right here just to kind of highlight a little bit. Okay, so I just added some Ardell Wispies and of course some mascara. I am liking it a lot better. Obviously, I like everything better with lashes, but I am actually really feeling it now. It's, again, it didn't turn out exactly how I was envisioning. <laughs> it's not as clean and precise as I wanted it to be, but I do actually really like this look. I like how it turned out. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of my face powder and I'm just going to clean off all that baking. And of course, I'm going to do my little Q-tip trick where I just take a little bit of my face powder and I go over any blemishes. And I always go around my nose. And I'll just take that same brush and just kind of blend it out. Now for a highlight, I am so excited. I have not used this palette in... I couldn't even tell you the last time I opened this palette. I was so scared of using it because I didn't want it to like go away so quickly. I don't know, the pans are huge. I'd probably never end up using the entire thing, but I just didn't want to use it. It's so pretty. <laughs> so I'm of course going to use my Morphe M501. You know, of course going to go in with a champagne pop right here. Oh, I forgot how beautiful this was. I need some of this on my inner corner, so I'm going to take a little bit of Champagne Pop again. I'm just going to go with my Morphe M169. Once I start highlighting, it just kind of ends up everywhere. <laughs> I forgot how much I absolutely love Champagne Pop. It's so beautiful. I think I'm going to go with a little bit of the lightest shade from Casey Holmes and Smashbox collab, since you know I'm pulling out all of them today. <laughs> I'm just going to use the end of my Beauty Blender and just kind of blend that in. I'm just going to line my lips with the Milani 03 Nude Lip Liner. But I'm going to do two lip options for you today. So I'm going to do Daddy from My Name Mue and Jeffree Star. I'm going to do the 1548 from the Taylor and B. I always shake up my liquid lips no matter what. I just, I don't know. I feel like I need to. <laughs> So here is lip option number one. Of course, I absolutely love it. Again, it's the 1548 collab with the Taylor and Bihu. I will never get over this color. It's so stunning. I absolutely love it. And then, of course, here is lip number two. This is Daddy from Manny Mue and Jeffree Star. I'm actually really feeling this color. Not going to lie. <laughs> I'm going to be setting my face with the Morphe Prep and Set, but make sure you check out the other video to see what I think of it. I'll have it linked down below. completely forgot, <laughs> but I am going to set my brows with the Gimme Brow number three, my favorite thing of life. I typically wait until afterwards anyway, but I didn't mean to set my face first. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this tutorial. I really hope you did enjoy it. I really like how the look turned out. It is really different for me, especially for this lip, but I'm kind of living for it. Like I said, it's not as clean as I wanted it to be, like my wing and everything, but you know, you got to give it a go the first time, right? <laughs> So yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like tutorials like this, and make sure you subscribe before you leave, and make sure you hit the bell notification too so you don't miss a video from me, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!